Yo, good morning. Welcome back to another pre-market uh, analysis live stream. My name is Franco and I will be uh, reviewing uh, the markets uh, before the open just to see what is the context for the day and how we can um, plan ahead of for the trading session. Okay, let's jump right into the um, economic calendar. Uh, we did have um, ADP non-farm employment change. It came uh, above the expectations. So regarding the employment, good news is, ba is bad news. Okay. Every, every time we have uh, a, a good news in employment, uh, the market just received it or translated in more sell because they um, expect the, the Fed to be more aggressive, right? I think they can be aggressive up to a point. Um, here's here's the one thing that uh, just got my attention. Look at the 30-year mortgage rate, 675. I think it's the high for probably 10 to 15 years. Um mortgage applications way down. So this will translate in less um, sale house, right? Houses sold, I mean. All right, so let's continue on. Um, then we have the PMI in one hour. Oh, this is 945. And then we have uh, ISM non-manufacturing PMI at uh, 10, okay? So let's, uh, I'm going to put an alert for this one so we can uh, be aware of it. Then we have crude oil inventory 1030, crude oil inventory 1030. And that's it for today. Yes. Tomorrow we do have, uh, unemployment claims and Friday we have an NFP. So that those are the ones that, uh, we're paying attention to. Okay. All right, uh, let's go take a look at the dollar, right? The dollar, like I, I've said, the dollar went up sharply. So this type of move uh, up and then a type of move down are not to be trusted, at least for me. So I, I don't I don't trust this move because I don't have such a um, re reliability on, on the way down. And what I'm trying to say is that Look at the difference when when we go up, like we we go up, then we held, right? And then we continue to go up, then we came down, but we held here pretty nicely. And then we created this pivot here because of this. And then we moved up. We never had a retracement here and we continue on, right? So I've said that uh, this moved to the upside, um, I'm not, uh, to be trusted and, and the same, the same, uh, the same I say for the move down. So this, this was, this, this is a sort of like a, uh, racetrack, right? We can go back up pretty easily. If I put that, let's go to the, no, let's put the drawings here. So, uh, for me, if the dollar today does not continue to go down, right? Meaning that we can, we're going to bounce from here. So I'm going to go to a lower time frame because this is a pretty, um, yeah, I'm going to take a look at that. No worries. Um, here, um, I, I commented about this pivot. This is the London open from, from, uh, mid September, right? It was a pretty nice pivot to, um, be aware of, even though I was thinking that this, uh, white line was the, uh, target for his for for this uh, movement down right but i'm gonna go to the lower time frame if you see here this is a pivot created at three in the morning and then and and we spend a few days here from the 13th to the um, 20th so more or less in a week right more, like seven trading days or six trading days so um from here we exploded to the upside and we are bouncing from there now we haven't broken any high yet. Okay. So I wouldn't say the dollar will continue to go up. 
without resistance. So MB is saying we have a four hour. It's a drop based drop, right? Um, the location of this one, well, this, this open at three, so it's not bad. Let's put the three hours because in Forex, I do like the three hours better. All right. This was, um, a London open from, uh, two days ago, right from Monday. Uh, the real deal for me is here, this area that we had as a, as a, as a demand. And, um, so this is the real deal for me. I think the dollar can come here and continue uh, to go down. Now, if we go down to the 30 minute, right? We haven't broken any high yet. We, uh, sort of double bottom here. And we are trying to uh, go back up, but until we start breaking at least this one, I don't trust the move up. Okay. Unless we, unless we close here today and then tomorrow we have a, a continuation, right? But today is, is not, um, is, is, is a very probable that the dollar can drop. Okay. Uh, we had a huge move down. So this, this move until we start breaking this, right? Um, I will stick to the, uh, short bias within the dollar. Good morning. Welcome all. Okay. Um, yes, the dollar overall trend is up. And one thing that I will rely on pretty heavily is in the, in the yields. So let's, uh, let's review the yields. Okay. Because, um, when they move in tandem, it's a high probability, right? And, and that's why the markets are retracing a little bit. Um, so we do have the dollar going up, but it's a move that I cannot trust until I start breaking highs and we haven't broken any high yet. Yes, this is a London open from uh, Monday. So this area is an area of interest. Okay. And then we have all this. We do have uh, a London open right here, right? And I refer to the London open because is is uh, the sessions with more with more volumes. The more volume uh, in currency happens in London, right? And then in the U.S. is the second largest uh, currency market, FX market. Okay, so this is the London open. Then we have here another London open right here, right? And then here we do have some Asia session right at the end. And then the next one is right here. Okay. So yes, this is a very interesting point because uh, we opened up here on Sunday on Monday. Okay. But, um, if we break to the upside, I will uh, be paying attention to this one. If we break this one to the upside, then definitely we will have, um, more downside on the equity markets, right? So, um, the dollar is right there, right? Hasn't, uh, goes, haven't, ha haven't, he hasn't gone, gone through this, um, resistant uh, from Monday. Then, uh, yields, hmm. yields are very interesting. Yields are telling me that they might have more upside. We already broke this, uh, demand that we had right here and we retested. And we're continuing to the upside. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Let me take the drawing off and put the daily. Right. Uh, we did have a sideways day, meaning a consolidation day between this closing and this day closing. And then yesterday, the entire day of yesterday, we came back down with, we, we didn't break to the downside and now we're going back up. Okay. Um, I will pay attention to this because if this one change, um, then, uh, every, every, like all the scenarios can change for me. Okay. So let's put the drawings back and I want to go back down to the uh, 30 minute. Okay. Um, so this is very, very nice setup. So yesterday, I'm sorry, two days ago, consolidation yesterday, um, we broke to the upside during the London open. We came back and we are retesting this area. Okay. So if we continue to go up, which is the most likely scenario, 
then the short is going to be a very nice um, setup today. Okay. So, but look, we're creating a double top right here. I need to watch this at all times. I will put it right here next to the dollar. Okay. If, if we happen to break down, same thing. But I do think, I do think if we uh, go down, we retest these people created a few hours ago, a couple of hours ago, and we continue down, I will say that uh, we will have some support off of this consolidation area, okay? All right, so those are the... Um, Um, I'm, 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 I'm leaning more to the short side as of now. Okay. I'm leaning more to the short side because of uh, the, the yields and the dollar. Right. But I need to see the yields uh, continue to break up along with the dollar. The dollar is at the resistant. This one, even though it's not a resistant for me, for me it was that this demand, right? I have this pivot. Right, I cannot ignore this pivot, okay, and this one. But we already spent um, quite some time here since uh, four in the morning, okay. So la, we need the volume to come in during the trading session, right? If the volume comes in and we start breaking to the upside, then we will um, not we will um, discard the longs, okay. And we'll start looking for shorts, but I need to see because right now, yes, it is stopped right here and stopped to is starting to like a double topping right here, right? I have this pivot, this pivot. My zone was down here, and I think it's setting up to uh, for a continuation to the upside. But anything can change, right? So I want to be aware of this. Vix, the Vix, Mister Vix, this thing is, is crazy. Like I. This is the daily, right? Um, now we do have a lot of su supply right here, a lot. Now this can work in two ways. Either these sellers or volatility are gonna hold, right? Or they're gonna puke, right? And when I say that, if if this, if the VIX somehow, if the market somehow start um, dropping, right? All these um, sellers or volatility are going to be squeezed, right? Let's see how they react. Um, uh, here is a lot of supply for volatility. We did have this demand. We um, tapped it yesterday and we are bouncing back up. We're gapping up, right? But um, there's not much movement, even though the markets are dropping a little bit, not much, but the um, the volatility index is just gapping up a little bit. Okay, it's uh, within yesterday's range. And um, when I say I have a lot of supply, look at how many pivots do I have here? One, two, three, four, and this, and then this huge gap. Okay, so there's a lot of supply right here. That means that people are selling volatility. They're selling puts. Okay, they're selling a lot of puts. That's why this thing hasn't um, gone up. Uh, on the equity market, somebody, yeah. Um, I don't have much experience on bear markets because um, whatever I have uh, learned is because I I had to go back in the charts and and read and videos, whatever. I've just been trading for five years, but what I've read and what I've um, looked in the charts is that bear market rallies are brutal. A lot of short coverings. When you short, when you cover your shorts, you're you have a stop order. Usually, you have a stop order, right? <clears throat> All right, crude oil. We do have this uh, supply right here. Finally, we uh, got into it. Uh, we are sideways today, so today is a very important day. We do have the inventories. So the most likely scenario, if we do have a bad report today, a retest to this one. Okay, um, if not the supply, there's a lot of, uh, um, this is a very crowded area. Like a lot of trading happened here. Okay. So how many days we, uh, spent right here. So I do think this supply can work. 
um if uh it doesn't uh if it doesn't then the next one that i have is 9250 okay that's not gonna be good for the pump though also this area is a lot um if you see how crude oil have been moving right we do have a sort of a trend line right here right until we break this to the upside i think this is still within the overall trend to the downside all right let's uh continue the es mm. so the es has to hold this pivot i think it has to hold this pivot right here like 35 35 55 to 47 um if we don't hold this pivot i think we do have a lot of downside right here the next one will be 36.90 right and i do have a demand right there um but uh if you go to the daily now i i've talked about this type of uh movement right um there are two things that could happen right and if it doesn't happen today um i don't think it'll happen happen tomorrow right so one thing that we could have we could have here is a okay we're dropping pre-market right remember it's with a uh, lower volume we can come somewhere around here and bounce back up right this is purely me this is just me reading this chart right we can come back and close on the top right so that that is one scenario if the dollar does not change and continues to go up then we will have a downside now if you see here i don't have much support i do have this drop base rally but huge move up right usually when you have a, a movement towards one side you will have continuation the next one so we had this one we had this one right so it's yet to see today if this pivot is gonna hold if it doesn't i think the next one is the poc and i i do rely on areas below the poc right um or beyond the poc let me correct that because the poc works for shorts or, or longs right so if i don't if es does not hold this one i'm looking beyond the po the poc the poc has uh is at uh, 3709 so i would say 3687 right um um probably the market is uh, exaggerating um, or is overreacting to the um, ad adp report it's just it's within the expectation it's just 8000 more right i don't think it's is a very very um bullish number regarding the employment but i've seen good news in employment is bad news for the market all right let's go to the nq same scenario but the nq look at the supply yesterday this is crazy we did have this supply um actually we marked off a supply um during the trading session and and that supply ended up working now it, it came out of the zone re retraced back into the zone we got stopped out break even uh, but i wouldn't have been stopped out if i would have kept my stop at the um original um place now i don't trade that way but um that gave us the clue of what the market are headed right look we did have this supply and um if we don't hold look the nasdaq does not have the same scenario right the, look at the room that the nasdaq has first stop is uh 356 that's uh, 140 points below where we're at okay yes the market is not dropping much probably like one percent one and a half yeah 1.3 okay so yes i'm i'm leaning to the short side now like i've said 
if we don't bounce from these areas today, then I think the next stop is down here. Okay. Way down, like beyond beyond the POC at least 250. Okay. Um, I'm leaning more to the um short side though. So um I'm gonna leave you like this. See you guys in, in 10 minutes. If you have any question about my context, you can bring it back to the uh trading session and we'll um and I'll 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 respond everything, okay? Uh, I need to go some things to go do some things before the trading session. And when I, I'll come back at 9:25, uh, okay? Thank you guys for being here. See you in a bit. Bye.